Hello, 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 and welcome to Dugout Daily. I am Charlie, and today it is Pacos Ferreira against Tottenham in the Conference League playoff first leg. The winner of this tie will will um will go through to the Conference League group stages. Um, big up Creeper Boy. Um, I know I'm late. Um, I was struggling to find the team news for about 15 minutes for some reason. So that's the reason I'm late. And Taiko says, can you send the link? I'll be on in a few minutes. Yeah, one minute, mate. I'm just sorting some out and then I'll send you over the link. We do also need to share the stream. So I'll be back in a minute. So here is the team news. Um, starting with Pacos Ferreira in goal, they have number 13, Andre Ferreira. In a 4 2 3 1 at right back, they have number 29, Fernando Fonseca. Number 32, Flavio Ramos. Number 2, Marco Baixino. Number 5, Vitorino Antunes. Number 46, Steven Estuacuio. Number 22, Luis Carlos. Number 7, Helder Ferreira. Number 77, Nuno Santos. Number 23, Lucas Silva. And number 10, Danielson. For Tottenham then, in goal, his professional debut, number 22, Pia Luigi Gallini. A back four of number 2, Matt Doherty. The academy graduate, number 38, Cameron Carter-Vickers. Number 4 is... First start for Tottenham is number four, Christian Romero. Number 33, Ben Davies. Two in midfield, number 18, Giovanni Lo Celso. And number eight, Harry Winks. On the right, number 19, Ryan Sessegnon. At attacking midfield, then, it is another academy graduate. Number 43, Niall John. On the left-hand side, their new signing... Number 11, Brian Gill, his debut. And number 44, the academy graduate up top is number 44, Dane Scarlett. The substitutes then with Jorge Simao as the manager of Pacos Ferreira. On the bench, they have number 12, James Fenezes. Number 25, Jose Oliveira. Number 3, Nuno Lima. Number 20, Luis Bastos. Number 21, Jorge Silva. Number 8, Abbas Ibrahim. Number 15, Juan Delgado. Number 16, Machuai Jalo. Number 26, Rui Perez. Number 9, Wilton. Number 45, Hal Pedro Silva. And number 99, Douglas Twank Tanque. For Tottenham then, with Nuno Espirito Santo as the manager, they have number 40, Brandon Austin. Number 48, Maxim Pascotzi. Number 50, Callum Cizai. Number 53, Brooklyn Leons Foster. Number 42, Harvey White. Number 51, Matthew Craig. Number 52, Michael Craig. Number 55, Romain Mundell. Number 47, Jack Clark. And number 56, Janiel Lloyd Benny. So I'll send the link over to you now, Taisho. Uh, I'm just going to share the stream as well. I 
as the players are just walking out on my on my stream at the minute. We'll share the stream. Rare versus Tottenham. We'll get the banners up then. There are the banners. Um, share the stream. Get the stream yard link for T show. See, so sure I sent you the link. Um, let me just get the game on and then we'll tweet it out. Seven people watching, please like, share, subscribe. And the match has started uh, on my notifications. I've still not got it on. Um, we got it on now. And then we... Still not kicked off on my stream. And there we go. We're on the way. In this match, Tottenham's debut in this competition, the first season this competition has started. Eight people watching, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, at half time, we'll be going through the scores of the other games. As well, there's also Europa League on tonight. We've got a got a thingy going. A what's it called? A timer going. So we'll add that for now, just while we're waiting on T Show to join us. We'll sort it out and we'll go like that, and there we go. 
Oh, it's a mile off. We'll do it at half time. Ignore that. Um, one minute twenty on mine at the minute. Tisho says, happy birthday, by the way. Yeah, my birthday is tomorrow. Thank you, mate. Um, I appreciate it. And he said he'll be on in a few minutes. Yeah. P Just got news. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette both missed Brentford's game. The Brentford game due to positive COVID tests. So... Both Abamyang and Lacazette got COVID. When now with Tisho, how are you, mate? I'm doing good. good. A bit of a headache, but for that, I'm fine. How are you? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Brian Brian Gill gets fouled straight away. Um, apparently Lacazette and Abamyang both got COVID te positive tests before the Brentford game. That's why they missed it. Yeah. Is Brian Gill yeah, into the box? And, uh, William. Yeah. Session Young can't sort his feet out and it's corner to Tottenham. It's your birthday, right? Right? Today? Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Emerson's joined Leon, according to Fabrizio Romano. Good deal for him because he wouldn't play at Chelsea. Hmm. Definitely. Into the box by Tottenham onto the edge. The shot is blocked. And um, what's your prediction for this game, Tisha? Um, zero three to Tottenham. Yeah, I'm expecting a com comfortable win for Tottenham. To be honest, a few players are missing though, like no Son, no Kane, no Ndombele, no Aurier, but still should have enough to win, in my opinion. For sure. What minute are you, by the way? Um, five right now. Yeah, I'm a bit behind, but don't worry about it. Your camera's frozen. Oh, is it? Yeah. One minute, I'll come out and come back in because my Wi-Fi is dodgy at the minute. Yeah, right. I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right.
few academy players playing for Tottenham, like Niall John, um, Cameron Carter Vickers. Um, is it Niall John's debut for Tottenham? I think so. I've never heard of him, so probably. Yeah, same. Well, it's all Tottenham first five, ten minutes so far. It's a bad tackle on Harry Winks. La Celso on the free kick. Celso crosses it in. It's away by for Pacos Ferreira. And it is a throw into Tottenham. Did you see the announcement video by uh, Pacos Ferreira? Yeah, game? it was very good. Very funny. Another corner to Spurs. Into the box, headed away by Pacos Ferreira again. Throwing to the Portuguese side now. It's taken quickly. Oh, he stumbled and Galini collects the ball for Spurs. Spurs switched off for a minute. Galini collects, though. That was a chance to make it 1 0, Pacos Ferreira. That would be something. Hmm. Tottenham on the right hand side. It's collected by Pacos Ferreira and a bit of a counter attack's on here. He switches the play over to the right hand side and that will be a throw in to Tottenham. Ben Davies at left back, the captain today. Big up Chelsea fan, hope you're well mate. Uh, nine people watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Still nil nil here, ten minutes in. It's been mostly Tottenham in this first ten minutes. Do you think Kane's going to uh, Manchester City or not? I think he will, to be honest. But if we don't, um, I think we'll get Vlahovic from Fiorentina and he seems a good striker, to be fair. He 
Here's Brian Hill into Niall Johnny. Gives it away. Pacos Ferreira on the counter-attack. It's won back by Tottenham. Now John loses it again and La Celso will pass it back to the Tottenham centre-half, Cameron Carter-Vickers. Here's Brian, Brian Gill on the left-hand side for Tottenham. Nice pass into Ryan Sessegnon. Nice football by Spurs. It's given away again. And a bit of a counter-attack on here for Pacos Ferreira. Thoughts on the game so far, Tisha? Yeah, not much happening. It's just a Tottenham game, really, with some uh, counter-attack for Pacos Ferreira. But that's it, really. Yeah. Tottenham have been a bit sloppy, I've noticed. they given the ball away a couple of times. I can see... Pacos Ferreira getting one, I think, but I'm going to say 3-1 Spurs, full-time score, in my opinion. Could happen, yeah. Do you think Spurs need another centre-back? Yeah, I think after they just lost Alderweireld as well, so I think they do, yeah, to be honest. Chelsea fan says, if Tottenham get beat today, it'd be so funny. Yeah, what well, I can say that, to be honest. First time in this new competition, the Conference League, and they got beat to some team that about mid-table in Portugal. Just a Tottenham thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Win against Manchester City and then lose against Spark of Ferreira. Yeah. Then again, it would also happen to Arsenal, probably, so... <laughs> True. Tottenham giving it away again. And that is a free kick given away by Harry Winks. Given away by Pacos Ferreira. Tottenham win it back in the midfield. Here is Giovanni Lo Celso. He finds Niall John. Do you have like a fan or something on? No. Do you? No, I just hear a sort of flickering sound. I don't know what it is. No, I don't have a fan of. Probably just my headphones then. Yeah. Over the top by Spurs, headed away by Pacos Ferreira. And it is a throw in to Pacos Ferreira. What players stood out most so far to you? Um, not much has really happened, but I'd say maybe La Celso for Tottenham or maybe Brian Hill. They've looked okay when they've got got onto the ball. Um, decent pace, good skill, nice control. So yeah, I'd say either of them to be honest. What would you say? I completely agree. I would say Brian Gill as well. He's been a uh... Looking quite, he's not quite sure, but he's been looking all right. Yeah. Cleared away by Tottenham. It was a ball over the top by Antunes, a poor touch by Carter Vickers, and then away by Ben Davis. Shot saved by Greeny.
Here is Pacos Ferreira shot, easy save by Galini. I think Tottenham really need to step up the game. Yeah, I think I think if they get one, I think they'll get three or four to be honest. And it is a throw into Tottenham again. There's been a lot of set pieces I've noticed so far. Throw-ins, free kicks, corners, stuff like that. It's been a very stop-start game. Yeah, and Tottenham not doing much with the set pieces. Yeah. Here's Christian Romero. Gives it away. Pacos Ferreira down the right hand side into the box and meets nobody. But it's gone right over the top, over to the left hand side now for number 23 of Pacos Ferreira. He'll go back to Antunes and that is the free kick to Pacos Ferreira. Number 23 was Lucas Silva. He got the ball on the left hand side. He passed it back to Antunes and... Tries to pass it back to Silva and he wins a free kick. Into the box, oh, it goes right over everyone. And I think that's a corner to Pacos Ferreira. Yes, it is. It's cleared away. I think that's Carter Vickers. He cleared it away. Antunes, the former Getafe left back, going over to take the corner. Into the box, easily collected by Galini. Tottenham just passing it round the back at the minute. Free kick for Pacos Ferreira in a good position here. You're a bit in front of me, so I'm, I'm guessing I'll see it in a couple of seconds. Yeah. Decent position, this. Pacos Ferreira can take the lead from this. It'd be very... 
interesting for the game. Galini looks tired as hell. Yeah, he does. Niall John lay behind the wall. And Tuna stood over the free kick. It shot it straight at the wall. And Tottenham headed away. 23 minutes gone, still nil nil at the in Portugal. Pacos Ferrara nil, Tottenham nil in this first leg of the playoff match. In the Conference League between Pacos Ferreira and Tottenham. Throw in to Pacos Ferreira. Another throw in to Pacos Ferreira. 24 minutes in. Still nil nil. Is that a free kick? No, it isn't. Pacos Ferreira get the ball back. I do see it all coming soon, but... Yeah. The second leg this time next week. Uh, we may do a watch along to that game, but I'm not sure yet. The better now this game unfolds. Yeah. The Europa League on next week as well, so... Yeah. Might do one of them. Chelsea fan says Kane should go Man City. He'll never win anything with Tottenham. I mean, he's not won any. Tottenham don't win anything. It's simple as that, really. I don't even think they'll win this competition. I think Roma will win this competition. Or maybe even another like Feyenoord could win it, maybe. Potentially. Sure. 
it's cleared along by the Pacos Ferreira goalkeeper. And Galini has the ball at the back. I'm sorry. Good defending. Carter Vickers wins it back on the right hand side for Tottenham. Good defending. Gallini will go into Christian Romero. His first start for Tottenham. He'll go into Niall John. And that is a throw into Pacos Ferreira. I'm not going to lie, I thought Tottenham would have scored by now, to be honest. Me too, but Marcus Freire is actually playing very decently. Yeah. And that is a throw in to Tottenham. Both teams giving the ball away very unnecessarily at times. Yeah, definitely. Another throw in to Spurs. Ball is just going around like a ping pong table or a ping pong ball. Yeah. Sessignon gives it away again. And then Carter Vickers wins it back. He goes. So it was Harry Winks that won it back. He went back to Carter Vickers. Very good to feeling there. Oh, on the right hand side, Tottenham corner. LaSalle sold to take the corner for Spurs. Into the box, headed away by Pacos Ferreira. And that is a free kick. And that's a yellow card for Ben Davies, the captain of Tottenham today. Undeserved yellow card in my opinion. Yeah.
No, I always... what happened there. Just dropped out. I was thinking you're going to leave me alone here. <laughs> <laughs> Trip over the top to Nelson brought it down, he just couldn't get a shot off. And then he won a corner. Thirteen minutes to go of the first half, it's still nil nil between Pacos Ferreira and Tottenham. Nasty tackle. There's a chance for Pacos Ferreira. Danielson goes down. Still got the ball. He, nice back heel. Danielson again, he loses it. Spurs on a counter attack. That's a bad tackle. And I'm, I'm sure that'll be a yellow card. Yeah, it will be. For Helda Ferreira. Does it? Oh, there are two players named Ferreira in the in a side named Pacos Ferreira. That's hmm. interesting. Yeah, just noticed that as well. It's all academy graduates on the bench for Tottenham, really. Ten minutes of the first half, still nil nil. Oh yes, Pacos, shots. Pacos Ferreira have done very well. From, to be fair to them, well, that's a good tackle. The Nielsen shoots. That's poor. Straight into the hands of Pier Luigi Gallini. Um, we'll ask you, Tisha, what's your thoughts on Tottenham signings this summer? Christian Romero, Pier Luigi Gallini, um, who else have they bought? Is that it? Brian Gill. Oh, yeah, Brian Gill as well. Thoughts on them as signings for Spurs? Yeah, they've made um, good signings, yeah. Two from Atlanta. Seems like they just want to take it from another from Atlanta. <laughs> no, but, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think they're all good players, you know. Um, I think they do need uh, an addition or two with, like, a centre-back and potentially a striker if Harry Kane leaves. But yeah. for the rest, it, yeah, good signings. Yeah, and they've also got players back from who were on loan last season, like... Um, Sessegnon. um Oli Oliver Skip, uh, Jack Clark as well. So there's a few players back from loan. But lost players like Alderweireld, old Joe Hart's gone, Lamella's gone. Um, Juan Fife left permanently to Villarreal as well. Yeah, right. would you see it as an upgrade or a downgrade from the squad of last season? Um, I think it'd be an upgrade because. I think Galini's a better goalkeeper than Joe Hart. Um, sure. Brian Gill's better than Lamella. 
and they were a swap deal plus some cash I think it was and then Romero I think I think they still need another centre back like you said um, I think they need a striker as well to be honest if they're losing Harry Kane because they've lost Vinicius as well this season well last That's season it. yeah he's gone back to Benfica was he only alone or was he in permanent transfer? Yeah, he transfer? was only on loan. Oh, I thought he was a permanent transfer, so... It's Tottenham on the left-hand side. Pacos Ferreira go backwards to the keeper. What else do you think uh, Manchester, City, Manchester City should sign? Like, what do they need? Minus a striker. Um, I think our midfield's all right. Um, Mendy, yeah. shit. I think we need another left back. Or we yeah. could focus on that next season and go all out for a striker this season. Because Mendy is absolutely awful. <laughs> He's crap. He is. One of the worst left backs I have seen ever. Yeah. Free kick to Pacos Ferreira. Five minutes left of the game at half time. We'll go through the scores in the Europa League and Conference League that are going on today. Also, ask ask you, Tisha, how each how you think each player is doing so far. Like just in general, or just in general, yeah. I mean, for Tottenham, most of them have been really sloppy, like losing possession a lot of times and mm. just not doing much with the ball. I, Like I said, Brian Gill has been looking quite decent. The Celso as well, yeah. And for Bucks Ferrer, to be honest, they're holding up Tottenham quite a fair bit, which they're doing good. I've had a few chances to score. Shame that they didn't, but, you know, it's... Uh, mm. Better performance from them than I than that I expected. Yeah, definitely. A free kick to Tottenham with five minutes plus additional four minutes plus additional time to go. I'm I'm guessing there won't be much added time. A minute maybe. Yeah. Here is Romero. He goes long over to the right hand side of Matt Doherty. He heads it down to Niall John. La Celso. La Celso to I think that's Romero. Harry Winks into Brian Gill. He's offside. Sloppy there. Should be watching the line. How do you think Tottenham will do in the league this season? 
Um, I let me check. Uh, I predicted them originally, and so um, uh, seventh place. But I had Arsenal at six, and I don't think they'll stay at six anymore. So yeah. probably a sixth place finish for Tottenham. Yeah. I don't hope so, but it's not looking good for Arsenal. No, Chelsea this weekend as well. Do you think that's already going to be a loss before it's even started? I mean, a lot of Arsenal fans are writing off the game, but we always perform against Chelsea, and the uh, rivalry is just um, the forefront form. It's just a uh, rivalry. It's always different than a rivalry. Yeah. Good interception by the Pacos Ferreira player. The keeper collects two minutes to play. Still nil nil. I didn't expect this a couple of minutes before half time. Brian Gill over the top towards Dane Scarlett. Good strength there to hold off the Pacos Ferreira defender. Here is Brian Gill. He'll find La Celso. La Celso back to Brian Gill. Yes, good boy. The other one. It's 1 0. Huh? One nil, Pacos Ferreira. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see it now. We'll go through commentary here. Pacos Ferreira on a counter attack. Oh, they're in behind. It's one nil, Pacos Ferreira. A great finish by De Nielsen and no, Tottenham are losing one nil to Pacos Ferreira. Thoughts on the goal, Tisha? What a the pass, it was a really good pass and a good finish by Lucas so far. What a, that, that's an amazing pass. I think Lini could have done better there. Yeah, poor defending. <laughs> it's a city of the Tottenham. So it's Pacos Ferreira 1, Tottenham 0. Just before half time. That's a big goal for Pacos Ferreira. It's a good finish by Lucas Silva. You just love to see it. <laughs> 1-0 with a minute added on. It is Pacos Ferreira 1, Tottenham 0. You wouldn't have been expecting that 30 seconds or before half-time, before the game. And it'll be half time any second now. Pacos Ferreira won. Tottenham nil. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Spurs are slopping us being lethal to, them, to themselves. Yeah. And that's half time. Pacos Ferreira won. Tottenham nil. Uh, Chelsea fan says Tottenham in the mud. He also says Arsenal will beat Chelsea. It will be the same old Chelsea. I wish. But it's half time here in Portugal. Pacos Ferreira won. Tottenham nil. We'll go to you, T. Show thoughts on the first half. Uh, it, 
It's not a good half from uh, Tottenham. I should, you have to say it's not. It's a sloppy half from Tottenham. Like uh, they keep giving the ball away, and in the end, it's proven lethal. Packers Ferrer won. No, it's a very good yeah. pass, and yeah, I love to see it. Yeah, I think we all do as English fans. Um, we'll go through the scores while it's half time here. Starting with the Europa League, we have Ammonio, Ammonia Nicosia from uh, Cyprus for Real Antwerp 2 at full time. Randers FC of Denmark drew 1 1 against Galatasaray. Slavia Prague 2, Legia Warsaw 2. Mora 1. Or Mora of Slovenia at 2 1 down to Sturm Graz from Austria. Fenerbahce 0, HJK Helsinki 0, Olympiakos 0, Slovan Bratislava 0, Slovan Bratislava from Slovakia, Rangers 0, um, Alaska FC 0 from Armenia. And finally, in the Europa League, it is Rapid Vienna nil, Soya Luhansk nil. Into the Conference League, um, it is Shakhtar Karagandi one from Kazakhstan, Maccabi Tel Aviv from Israel two, Flora Tallinn four. They're from Estonia. They beat Shamrock Rovers of Ireland four two. Um, cups. From Finland, they lost 4 0 to Union Berlin. Um, Karabag of Azerbaijan beat Aberdeen 1 0. Um, Rako Chestok Chestokowa of Poland beat Genk 1 0. Um, FK Nefci 3, Maccabi Haifa 3, Nefci from Azerbaijan. Maccabi Haifa are from Israel. Um, next up is Hapoel Beersheva uh, of Israel, nil. Anor Falsis of Cyprus, nil. Lask of Austria, one. St Johnston, one. Riga FC of Latvia, one. Lincoln Redims from Gibraltar, one. Victoria Pilsen, two. CSKA Sofia nil from Bulgaria. Salgiris Vilnius two of Lithuania. Bodo Glimt of Norway two. Um, Basel three, Hamabi one. Uh, Hamabi are from Sweden. Um, CS Fola Esch of Luxembourg one. Kaira Almaty from Kazakhstan 4, Trabs Bonspor 1, Roma 2, Anderlecht 2, Vitesse 2, Feyenoord 5, Elfsborg 0, Elfsborg from Sweden, uh, PAOK 0, Rijeka 1, Rijeka are from Croatia, Stad Rene 1, Rosenberg 0, Siversport 1, Copenhagen 2, and finally, the game we are watching today, Pacos Ferreira 1, Tottenham 0. Um, we'll go to you then, Tisho. Thoughts on the performance from Tottenham? Yeah, like I said, just very sloppy or full. Um, very unexpected, I'd say. I don't think many people even expected Pacos Ferreira to get a goal. And then they won the up, of course. So, shocking and bad from Tottenham. Definitely. Um, do you see him getting back into it in the second half? Um, probably. I I said they'd um be in front at this time, so you know if anything could happen. But if they don't get back into the game, it's just um yeah, it's not looking good for uh, Tottenham. Yeah, I think even if they don't get back into the game today, I think they'll win comfortably at home. 
at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium against the so I wouldn't worry if I'm a Tottenham fan to be honest but it is funny as a rival fan to see Tottenham losing of course um yeah what do you how do you think Pacos Ferreira have played in this first half very surprising very well um I think they're holding off Tottenham very good uh a bit of good passing from them with the goal it was a very good pass into Lucas Silva and you know just like I said holding up Tottenham very well and making sure that they have had more chances than Tottenham I believe so yeah yeah um who's, who's been your standout players for Tottenham probably Giovanni Lewis also because he's been quite good on the ball and playing good as well he's just looked very um uh, electric yeah um has there been any bad performances for tottenham in this first half for you me i really don't focus on bad performances but i guess uh well Van davies hasn't been looking that good i, I think mm. Got blocked as well in the first half. Yeah, the, and the defense was just very sloppy. Yeah. Um. So, what's your final score prediction? Mm, one one. One one. Do you reckon if Pacos Ferreira can get another, do you reckon they can hold on to the tie away at Tottenham, or is it still too much to ask? If they go in with the same mentality as today, I think they could. Yeah. Definitely. Do you know who Tottenham faces before that fixture in the Premier League? Yeah. Who? Sorry, what was your question? Oh. Who did Tottenham face before this fixture in the Premier League? Oh, we don't talk about that game, Tisha. No, um, I mean, I mean, for the oh. second, before the second leg. Oh, um, I think it's Wolves or something like that. I had a try, so. Wolves away, so Nuno's back at what mulling you. Big up talk. Hope you well, mate. Um, I know you're going through a tough time at the minute, but stay strong. Uh, we're all with you here at dugout daily. And Chelsea fan says, big up talking you. So, yeah, I think they're playing Wolves away in the league next. Um, mm. Let me just check. Yeah, I've checked they are. Yeah, so Nuno back at Molyneux. Yeah. They and, should then they've, win and then after that, they've got Watford at home, Palace away, Chelsea at home, Arsenal away. And then Villa at home. So after Watford and Palace, they have a tough run of a couple of games. Chelsea, Arsenal, Villa. Yeah. And then two fixtures later, they also have uh, United again. So. Yeah. It just goes into normal group stages, right? For the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. I think it basically works like the Champions League. Is it? I think so, anyway. I think it's 32 teams in the group stages. Done. Do you like the competition or do you think it's too much? I, I don't think they really need it. I've, I'll just watch this competition really when a big team's playing in it, like Tottenham. Well, a team that I'd actually watch in the normal league. 
because I'm not. I'm definitely not calling Tottenham a big club. No, 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 I did not. And if you win this, you uh, get into the Europa League, right? Yeah, yeah. And then teams who finish in third place of their Europa League groups go into the Conference League knockouts. Hmm. I mean, I guess, minus the long travelling, it's good for the smaller teams, you know, because... yeah. A bit, a bit like the FA Cup with that. Yeah. Do you know when the draw is for the FA Cup? Because I haven't seen anything on it. The Premier League and Championship teams don't go in it till January, I don't oh. think. So it'll be December time. Um, Chelsea fan says Wolves. Uh, talking me says thanks, Charlie. He also says, hi, Chelsea fan. He says, wait, what? Spurs are behind. Laugh my ass off. And Leicester till I die TV. Big up, Chris. Says, oh, dear Tottenham. <laughs> and cheers for the birthday wishes, Chris. So, yeah, Tottenham are losing. 1-0. Um, a goal just before half time by Pacos Ferreira. Good to see they call all day, it's a lovely pass. The second half should be starting in a couple of minutes. As the Tottenham players come back out onto the pitch. The Pacos Ferreira yes. players about to walk back on. Gets in. It's two, three, four, Vitesse. Let's go. Oh, Vitesse play. 20, yeah. sorry. No, Vitesse. Oh, Vitesse. Who are they playing? Are they in this competition? Yeah, they're uh, playing in the left. Oh, yeah. I like Anderlecht because company's their manager. And I want him to do well. Makes sense. This will be funny. I bet this will be embarrassing for Tottenham fans if they end up losing this game. Another academy player on for Tottenham. Oh, is there? Yeah, some guy named Clark. I don't know who he is. Oh, Jack Clark, is it? I think. Yeah, on he for played... Niall John. I think he played for Leeds on loan a couple of seasons ago, something like that. I think Brian, Brian Gill will go into attacking midfield now with... Sessignon on the left and then uh, Clark on the right. Because that's where he played for Leeds, I think. It's 
So Jack Clark has come on for Niall John. Um, he didn't really impress for Tottenham. He's a, an academy graduate. Really surprised that Tottenham are playing so many young players because I think they played. They, I think they gave zero minutes to academy players last season in Premier League. So did they? Yeah, I think so. Maybe I think this is how Nuno does it, though. He gives academy players a chance. He did it at Wolves a couple of times. Yeah, with Pedro Neto and other players, of course. Chelsea fan says, I hope we see some more goals. Yeah, but hopefully they're in the Tottenham net, not the Pacos Ferreira net. That'd be funny. Yeah. For sure. Here's Ryan Sessegnon on the left. He plays it to Jack Clark. Sorry, Dean Scarlett wins a corner. No, he doesn't. It's a goal kick to Pacos Ferreira. Apparently, Aaron Ramsdale's undergone his Arsenal medical. Oh, the guard as well. Yeah. Why are we signing Ramsdale? I don't get this. Yeah. Who would you have signed this summer? Sam Johnstone. I mean, he was only 18 million, I believe, and in my opinion, 10 times better than uh, Ramsdale. Yeah. And that. Uh, Edu and um, Otella say they sign uh, or they're looking at Ramsdale because statistically and statistically he's been one of the worst keepers last season in the Premier League so it, it makes no sense to me. And Sam Johnston got called up to the Euros and Ramsdale didn't. Yeah, and if you're going for homegrown players at Sam Johnson is home going and he's better and he's cheaper. Yeah. Another bad choice by Arteta. What do you have took Odegaard back this summer? Yes, I wanted Odegaard back. I mean, I think he's really underrated. I think he was great for us last season. Yeah. What was his goals and assists like last season when they got? Uh, let me check. He didn't have much, I believe. Uh, he he scored against Tottenham. I know that, but yeah, I remember it, that. I mean, he he had an impact without goals and assists. So, um, yeah, one goal, two assists. So not not very good um, goals and assists wise, but yeah, but he's been alright with. Uh, oh, he's also gotten a goal in the Europa League. So yeah. two goals, two assists. Which is decent because it's his first time playing in England. It's a uh, yeah. whole different league and now we can adapt um, better. Yeah, definitely. Three K for Packers forever. Ball against the box. No. Oh. That's a silly free kit to give away. I've just seen it. Oh, they've given. They... <laughs> it's like they don't learn from their mistakes. They keep giving the ball away. Yeah. And they've 
giving it away again. <laughs> Don't think Tottenham have gone into this game with the right mentality. No, definitely not. Can you believe that Erdogan is only 22? Like, <laughs> I, I swear he's been around for about five years. Yeah, I think he was playing for uh, here in Fane in the Netherlands for, uh, five years ago. Yeah. Fifty one minutes gone. Corner to Tottenham gonna to be taken by Harry Winks. Do Tottenham still have toy pair or is she loaned out? Uh he's gone on loan to whip switch, I think. Or was that last season? Let me have a look. Ipswich do have a good player, but I don't remember who it could have been. Um, they got Louis Barry from Villa. Louis Barry, yeah. That was it. That's it, yeah. Tri Parrot's gone on loan to MK Dons. All oh, right. Oh, wait a minute. What? The final goal, he just got a red card. Who oh, did? Uh, final goalkeeper. Oh, did he? Yeah, he's gotten a red card, apparently. I've just got a notification for it. Hmm. Pacos so, Ferreira so. fans are having a great time. Free kick to Pacos Ferreira. What a stupid thing to do. What the f Another free kick to Pacos Ferreira. That's a joke. <laughs> He's just completely taken out the player while they're five and up. Stupid challenge. Idiot. Tottenham's average age in the starting 11 was 23.6. So, pretty young for a starting 11. 
Who was the youngest player in the Scarlet? Uh, I think so, yeah. 17. Oh, we might get back. I uh, just gotta get something to drink. Yeah. It's Sessignon into Jack Clark. He loses it. It's a bad tackle by the Pacos Ferreira player, but Ryan Sessignon still running at his man, and that's a free kick to Pacos Ferreira. The Portuguese side still 1-0 up. There's 35 minutes to play in Portugal. It is Pacos Ferreira 1, Tottenham Hotspur 0. The goal was scored by, I think it was Lucas Silva or something like that. Yeah, that's it, Lucas Silva in the 44th minute. Still one nil here in Portugal. John Lundstrom gets a red card for Rangers. I'm back. Right. Still got a red one card. There. At Rangers, there's been a red card. Not here. At the minute, anyway. Unless something's happened because you're in front of me. He's injured. Oh, he looks in pain. The Pacos Ferreira striker, number 23. I believe that is Lucas Silva, the goal scorer. Yes, it is. Uh, John Lundstrom got a red card for the Rangers. Yeah. Lucas Ferrer are making a substitution, so I guess Lucas so far off. Yeah. Half an hour to play. 1 0. Pacos Ferreira still here in Portugal. He is on the pitch again, so... I 
I think he's getting substituted though, the physios are just on that side. On his left knee, I think the pain is. Free throwing, sorry, to Tottenham, not a free kick. Here's Christian Romero. So then, oof. Three Just three open. now in the Anderlecht versus the Test game. Good game. Should will be a good second leg, I reckon. Yeah. Who's number nineteen? Is that Session Yeah. Ninetieth minute goal from Vashiren in that game to make it three three. Oh. Shame. Yeah, that's miles over by Ryan Sessignon. Yeah. Nuno Santos is off for Machoy Jallo. Both teams just keep losing possession, it's like... Yeah. It, this must be frustrating as a Tottenham fan to w be watching this. Possibly even as a Pocket Forever fan. Yeah. I don't understand Tottenham's way of playing because they keep they keep just sending the ball forward without any thought behind it. I don't get it. Yeah. Do you reckon they'll bring more first team players into it next week? They should. I mean, if they if they stay um, if if the game stays as well, no, they definitely should because. This is a game Tottenham should be able to win. They should win. Yeah. Uh, with with no away goals, it doesn't... Uh, Rule them game. out. Yeah. But, you know, it's... Uh, Tottenham really have to step up the game. Yeah. Definitely. I don't even see them scoring a goal if they keep playing like this. It's no, neither.
Pacos Ferreira playing it round the back now. Do you have some space on the rides? Pacos Ferreira. Cross in. Yeah. Played by, I think that's. I don't know. Got a figure, that's it. Yeah, so, okay, had her away. No one was really challenging it, though. On the leg, missed the penalty as well. Did they? Oh, well, yeah, just, I just got a notification for it. Wow. What a game. Yeah, look out for in Antonias. We'll probably go through the scores again at full time and then for all the matches that are going on tonight. Free kick for Tottenham taken, will be taken by Harry Winks. That's a bad tackle by Andunias. This is a box. No. Chelsea fan says hit the like button and subscribe to the channel definitely do all those things like share comment and subscribe to the channel Harry winks into the box headed away by Pacos Ferreira 25 minutes to go still 1-0 Pacos Ferreira Tottenham have no game plan for this game it's William do you think Nuno thought this would be a walk in the park for Tottenham? Probably, I mean, that's why there's so many academy players playing, probably, and yeah. big mistake, big mistake. Yeah. I think when you're in a fixture like this where you're the favourites and there's two legs, you just finish the game off in the first leg and then play rest players in the second leg. That's what I'd do anyway. If I was in Nuno's shoes. I agree. Into the yeah. box by La Celso, collected by the Pacos Ferreira goalkeeper. I mean, it's, Portuguese football is way different from English football. Way more... Um, slower. Way more, well, not, not particularly slower. I was meaning to say um, more physical yeah and you know yeah. with we had a, another watch along yesterday with another portuguese team they won could it happen two nights on the spin benfica beat psv last night pacos ferreira got 22 minutes to hold on against tottenham would this be the biggest win in pacos ferreira history do you reckon I mean, probably, I don't know much about them, uh, but probably. Yeah. yeah. Remember when Tottenham played that, like, team dead low in non-league last season in the FA Cup? Yeah, Marine, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. And there was a site that just houses uh, 10 metres away from the pitch. Yeah. Ben Davies gets fouled there. And again, Minnum spots into uh, Dean Scarlett, which has gone for his head. It's Tottenham go into this game like, yeah, like they, uh, I don't know, like they don't want to win. Yeah. I thought Son travelled. Where's he? He's not even on the bench. Probably didn't travel there. Hmm. I 
please like, share, comment, unsubscribe, comment, get your comments in the live chat, talk about this game, how you think this will finish, how you think the game's gone so far as well. Pacos Ferreira have time at the back with the ball. Nearly lose it. But they keep hold of it. Chelsea fan says, same old Tottenham. Yeah, they, no, they have not been great today. Definitely not. Still 1-0 Pacos Ferreira. Brian Gill goes down and that is a free kick to Tottenham. Romero played it into Brian Gill. And it goes through the back of him there. Sub substitution for uh, Box for uh, Lucas so far off. The goal scorer. Double substitution. Do you think Box for uh, have been a better team this game or? In the second half, I think they have, yeah. I think Tottenham have been sloppy all game, to be honest. And I think Pacos Ferreira deserve their lead. What do you think? I agree. Uh, and like I've said numerous times, they've, they just keep uh, Tottenham off the ball really good. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's probably just Tottenham being best, really. Yeah. Luca, they're subbed off the goal scorer then, Lucas Silva. Box for some space here on the left. Cross in. Bad cross. From Antonius. Mm. Yeah, that was a poor cross. How do, you think, how do you think Arsenal will cope with no Europe this season? Do you think it'll help them at all? I thought it would at first because we have good squad depth in the sense, but you know, with more folks on the league, I thought we just would do well. And then you have the first game and we screw it all up over again. And it's just a repeating cycle of uh, being bad. It's... How do you think Arsenal, oof, what do you think the score will be on Sunday against Chelsea? I don't, I don't want to be too optimistic because it's just going to be a, a failure, but I'll go with 1-1 one, one or something, I don't know. Yeah. Would you take a point? Yes, 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 for sure. I mean, hey, you'd always love to win against your rival, but... The way Arsenal is in right now, I don't see it happening. Yeah. You got us then after that, don't you? After Chelsea, you got City. No, we, so it's not, no, we got, not yeah, in the league, yeah. We still got West Brom in the League Cup between that. Yeah. But no, the Premier League fixtures are not easy. You know, uh, I think we got Norwich after Man City and then 
I don't mm. remember, but it's uh, uh, it's not a very easy fixture list. No, definitely not. And then we play Tottenham again again after Norwich, I think so. Fifteen minutes to go. Pacos Ferreira one. Tottenham nil. Do you think Tottenham will get a goal in the last 15? No, I don't think so. They've been... They keep losing the ball in such unnecessary ways. I mean, they, they're they playing really sloppy. Like, they're not... Um, um, really learning from the first half. And they keep doing the same old things. Uh, throw the ball up in front and lose it again. So... No, I don't think they will get another goal. Hmm. I don't even think they can make good substitutions anymore, so... No, they're all academy players on the bench now. Yeah, it's... Just Tottenham things. <laughs> <laughs> A foul? No, it isn't on Romero. If Arsenal wouldn't fucking lose against Pax Ferreira, surely not. Oh, I don't think they would. Do you think Tottenham should stay in the big six list or? Say that again, sorry. Do you think uh, Tottenham should stay in the big six? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think. If Leicester finish above them this season, which I think will happen, I think Leicester replace them. Nah, Leicester isn't like trust me. Leicester isn't even a top twenty English teams. Like they've won one league title and one FA Cup, and that's it. I believe it's. Mm. But not Tottenham enough. don't win anything. Well, yeah, but they still have twenty six trophies or four. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Even though it was like. Back when dinosaurs still existed, but <laughs> it's Sessignon Lo Celso cleared away by Pacos Ferreira. Counter attacks on it on the right hand side. They've slown it down and they'll go backwards again. The amount of possession loss from both teams in this game is hurting my eyes. Hmm. Chelsea fan says Chelsea got Liverpool after the Arsenal game. I don't see us beating Liverpool away. Um, I like a draw from that, please. I need both teams dropping points, to be honest, already. Well, you you face uh, Norwich, right? Yeah. And that should be a comfortable three points. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and after that, Arsenal, of course. Yeah. Probably three points as well. Mm. Then we got Leicester away. We've not got a good record against Leicester at the minute. That's 5 2 last season. Yeah. Probably shouldn't bring it up because, uh, you know. Hmm. Ten minutes left. Still one nil. Do you see Tottenham turning it round in the next leg, T show? Probably because you know, uh, in England you have four stadiums again, and uh, no away. Spoilers, I think, for the 
Bucks for your offense. So without the support they have in this game in the home fixture, I do you think Tottenham can uh, turn it around? But yeah. if Pax Fire go into the second leg with the same mentality they have today, they could hold on for sure. Yeah. Substitution for Spurs. You need open it all for Ryan Sessignon. Another academy player coming on for Tottenham. Sessignon isn't happy he's come off here. Neil Lloyd Bennett is on for Tottenham. I'm not sure if this is his debut as well. Probably yes. Surprised Tottenham to spawn necessarily again. And mm. Barrow to spawn necessarily. It's... Dane Scarlet, he does well, and then he loses it. You watch Formula One, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think is winning the championship? I think it could be close. I think it'll go right to the wire. But I, I don't know. I've got fear that Verstappen will do it this year. Yeah, with uh, Mercedes not uh, really focusing on this season. Yeah. Do you support Hamilton or... I'm more of a Norris fan, to be honest. Um, but I'd rather him win it than Verstappen because he's English. That's the only yeah. reason, really. I'm guessing you're a Verstappen fan being Dutch. Trust me, not so much. It's uh, I just don't like Red Bull at all. They're such a bad managed team. It's, mm. uh, Who do you support them? Driver wise, I don't really have a driver who I support. I and not even a team really. I just watch for yeah, you know. similar to me to be honest. Oh, it's obstruction, and it's a free kick to Pacos Ferreira. I don't think it is, isn't it? I don't know. No. I think it's one for Tottenham. And Tunis uh, crosses it in. Substitution for Spurs. It is a box for a free kick, alright. Dangerous position here. Was it head ball or something? Obstruction. Oh, yeah. So it'll be indirect, I'm guessing. Tottenham making a change as well. Another academy player coming on for Tottenham. So I'm guessing he'll either roll it or back heel it and then he'll shoot like that. Because this is a dangerous position. They could make it to you know here. That would be crucial to this game. And Tunis stood over it on his left foot. Maybe he'll take it on his left foot. I think they have some sort of Plan. tactic here. Yeah. Yeah. Counter players oppositions. Gap to new ball. They could make it to new uh, they really could. Yes, I take oh, into the wall. Shame. Ah. Uh. Cross him. Ah, oh, cleanly. 
Schreibfest. Oh, it's a poor free kick, yeah. Still 1 0, five minutes left. Easy catch there for Gallini. Yeah, he's just absolutely walloped it at the wall, hasn't he? Tottenham made a change. I know, but it looks like someone is going off injured. I have no clue who. Part of Vickers. Uh, and on this, Maxime. A Scott C or something, I don't know. Hmm. Who's been your man of the match? I think you got to say the goal scorer for Pacos Ferreira. I think it's Lucas Silva who scored, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say I agree. It. Who the hell have they just brought on now, Tottenham? <laughs> Maxim Pascozzi. Never heard of him. I'm guessing it's his debut as well. It's such a bad strategy from Tottenham. Like, this isn't a game you should be debuting players in. It's just a game you have to finish. Yeah. Substitution for Ferreira as well. A Chelsea fan says, I have to go. Good stream, Charlie. Enjoy your birthday tomorrow. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers for your regular support. Um, Danielson has gone off for Joe Pedro. Good skill. Good to finish from Two minutes now. plus additional time to go. There probably will be some extra time, like three minutes maybe. Yeah, something like that, yeah. I'd imagine so anyway. It's been a lot of stoppage, so... Hmm... Spurs are looking for equaliser. Do you think they'll get it in the late minutes? No, not now, to be honest. I think they'll have to wait till next Thursday for the second leg yeah. to have any chance of going through. Yeah, they'll go for Brian Gill, I think. Not sure. Yeah. Yellow cross for Brian Gill. Yeah, Brian Gill, yellow. Tottenham also conceding a lot of fouls. It's... I don't understand how yeah, Tottenham that's... are going into this game. If you was in Nuno's shoes, would you have played a stronger team today? And rest players in the second leg? 
Yeah, like you said earlier, it's just a game you have to win, and then in the second half you can focus on uh, maybe a few debuts, you know? Yeah. Five minutes of extra time. Five minutes to That's go. Five minutes for Pacos Ferreira to hold on. Goal kick to Tottenham. Four minutes left. Pacos Ferreira four minutes away from potentially the biggest win of their history. Another throw in to Pacos Ferreira. Have they just given up sight for a throw in? Mm. Spurs keep giving the ball away, it's just so. They've played poor, haven't they? Yeah. I think they should be ashamed, really. Yeah. Free kick by Gallini. Why have they given up that a free kick, though? I don't know, like, it it can't be offside because it's a throw in. It's, yeah. There's no offside with the throw in, so I don't know. Three minutes left. Still 1 0 Pacos Ferreira. Away by Tottenham. Take for Spurs is into buying kill. Uh, bad touch. Oh, he gets a. Oh, no. Two and a half minutes left. We're halfway through additional time. Pacos Ferreira won. Tottenham nil. Goal scored by, L I think it was Lucas Silva. Just before half time. Into the box by Tottenham. It's headed. It's not connected properly. And it's long by the goalkeeper, kept in nicely, and Tunes hooks it down the line towards Gallini. He'll catch it pretty comfortably. They have to get it up the pitch and quickly now, Tottenham. There's a minute and a half to go. A minute now. They keep just giving long balls forward. I don't. It's so. It's such a stupid play by Tottenham. Yeah. Then again, they don't really have creative players on the pitch, so they can't really do yeah, more. Yeah, just... Apart from Brian Gill, there's not much, is there? No. And the Tottenham strikers offside there, Dane Scarlett, and that looks like that'll be it. 45 seconds to go on my stream. Oh. Yeah. 10 seconds to go and there's a, uh, oh, Tottenham taking a ball, one less attack maybe. Down the left side, here's, I don't know, who. some academy player. Yeah, and they've played the ball back and the referee, referee blows for full time. Wow. Yes. 
not long left on mine and then well, it's got taught through the last couple of seconds Tottenham have the ball on the left hand side and he blows for full time what a win for Pacos Ferreira big up Max hope you well mate and that's it it's Pacos Ferreira 1 Tottenham 0 and um, we'll go to you, T. Show thoughts on the game today. It's shameful by Tottenham. Like it, they should have won this easily, and they just all they do is uh, lose the ball in unnecessary positions, and it's cost them. It's made them lose the game. It's a very shameful performance by Tottenham. They've just not done much, and. I think Box Ferrer had more possession or uh, possession of them, I'm not sure. It, it's just a terrible game for Tottenham. Yeah. And a good game uh, for Box Ferrer. Yeah. Um what do you reckon will happen next Thursday in the second leg? Probably a Tottenham win, but then again we said that for this game and said uh, mean and uh yeah. Box Ferrer. If they go in with the same uh, mindset like I've said if Bucks were going with the same mindset, they could win it. And I hope they do. <laughs> no offense to Tottenham fans. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. So, Pacos Ferreira end up winning this game against um, Tottenham. Um, so we'll go through some of the full-time scores now and then we'll wrap it up. So starting with the Europa League, we have Amoni and Nicosia, 4, Royal Antwerp, 2, Randers, 1, Galatasaray, 1, Slavia, Prague, 2, Legia, Warsaw, 2, Mora, 1, Sturmgras, 3. Still going on, but it is Fenerbahce, 1, HJK, Helsinki, 0. Still going on in this game as well, Olympiakos, 3. Sloven, Bratislava, nil. Rangers, nil. Alashka, nil. That's still going on. And Rapid, VM1, Zoya, Luhans, nil. That's still going on. On to the Conference League. Um, Sorry about that. On to the Conference League then. It is Shakhtar Karagandi 1, Maccabi Tel Aviv 2. Rangers have just scored. It's 1-0 Rangers now. Alfredo Morelos. Flora Tallinn 4, Shamrock Rovers 2. Cups 0, um, Union Berlin 4. Uh, Karabag 1, Aberdeen 0. Rako Shekhochowa 1, Ghent 0. FK Nepchki 3, Maccabi Haifa 3, Hapoel Bia Shaver 0, Anartosis 0, Les Linz 1, St Johnston 1, Riga FC 1, Lincoln Red Imps 1, Victoria Pilsen 2, CSKA Sofia 0, uh, Zalgiris Vilnius 2, Bodo Glimt 2, Basel 3, Hamabi 1, CS Fola Esch 1, Kyra Almaty 4, Chab Sponsport 1, Roma 2, Anderlecht 3, Vitesse 3, Feyenoord 5, Elsborg 0, Jablonek 5, Zelenen 1, uh, PAOK 1, Rijeka 1, Rene 2, Rosenberg 0, Sibersport 1, Copenhagen 2, and the game we watched today, Pacos Ferreira won, Tottenham nil, and Santa Clara versus Partizan Belgrade. He's going to kick off in a couple minutes' time. So we'll wrap it up there then. Tottenham lose their debut in this competition. A lot of academy players played. They lost 1-0 to Pacos Ferreira. Um, we'll go to you, Tisha. Where can we find you, mate? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram over at uh, at the Metro Viewer, as my name says. Uh, you can find me on Charlie's channel, Duck Daily, on SVD TV, and on Football United TV. Go 
So go subscribe to them all and uh, thanks for having me on again. Cheers for coming on again, mate. Um, you can find me at MCFC Hibs on Twitter and Dugout Daily on YouTube. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, I think we'll be back Sunday. So everyone take care and peace. Goodbye.